Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 78. Today we'll evaluate. Today we'll evaluate some algebraic expressions. Here's what here's what's given to us. We are told that if a equals 3, b equals 2, c equals 5 x equals 10, y equals 1, and finally z equals 0, we are to find the values of the following expressions. What I want you to do is pause the video, do them yourself first, and then compare your work against the work that we took it, that we'll do together. Pause the video and do it yourself. Alright, let's get going. 4 a, a is 3, 4 times 3 over 2, b, b, is, b is 2, that's it. Divide top and bottom by 2, the 2 goes away, 4 becomes 2, and we end up with 2 times 3, which is 6. Let's go to the next one. 8 times x, which is 10, times y, which is 1, over c, which is 5, which is 5. We see 5 at the bottom. We see 5 at the bottom, we see 10 on the top, let's divide top and bottom by 5. Uh, 10 is going to become 2, not 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And we'll end up 8 times 2 times 1, which is just 8 times 2, which is 16. Here it was 6. Here we have 6 times a squared, a is 3, so it's 3 squared, times z, z, oh z is 0, what the hell? It doesn't matter what b times c is. It makes no difference what b times z is. z is 0, and of course 0 times anything is 0. So that was very easy. This is just a big fat 0. Let's do the last one. 3 times b, which is 2, times c, which is 5, over x, which is 10. And 2 times 5 is 10. 10 is going to cancel out that 10, and the answer is just 3. Let's do 4 more. Let's do 4 more. Perhaps I shouldn't try to squeeze all four of them there because it gets too crowded. Let's, let's do three at a time. Here's the next one. x squared y squared over bc and 7x over a plus b. Let's do these two first. x squared is going to be 10 squared times y squared, which is going to be 1 squared, which really doesn't play any role, it's just going to be 100 times 1, b times c, b is b is 2, and c is 5, so we end up with 2 times 5, which is 10, and this is 10 squared, so this is how we do it, let's divide top and bottom by 10, if we divide top and bottom by 10, this 10 goes away, and this 2 is going to go away, it's going to become 1, but we don't have to write the 1, I'm not going to do it in a baby way, one more time, we're going to divide top and bottom by we're going to divide top and bottom by 10, and when we do that, this power of 2 goes away, it just becomes 10. 10 times 1 is 10. 7 times x, which is 10, and a, which is 3, plus b, which is 2, 3 plus 2, of course, 3 plus 2, of course, is 5. Divide top and bottom by 5 and becomes 10 becomes 2. The answer is 14. It's 7 times 2. Let's do the next two. Let's do the next two. Twenty-seven over a and three b squared over 4y. Do them yourself first. Twenty-seven or oh, 27y, 27y over, over a. 27y, oh that actually doesn't do anything, y is just 1, over a which is 3, and 27 divided by 3 is going to be 9. The answer is 9. 3 
b squared, b squared, b we are told is 2, so it's 2 squared over 4 times y, which we are told is 1, and of course, that really doesn't do anything, and here we have 2 squared, 2 squared is 4, divide top and bottom by 4, this 4 goes away and this 4 goes away, the answer is just 3. These are, as you can see, as you can see, these are very simple. Eight x y over two c and six y cubed over two c. Oh, six y cubed over b. Let's see what we can do. Eight x y. Eight x is ten. Y is one. That doesn't do anything actually. Over two times c, c is 5. Oh, there you go. 2 times 5 is 10, so we can cast out this 10 with that 10, the answer is 8. 6 times y cubed, well that's not going to do anything, it's just 1 cubed, over b, which is 2. So essentially it is just 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Let's do one more. Let's do, let's do, let's do two more. The last two, b cubed times cy over a plus b. And finally, 3xy times a squared b to the 4 times z over 9abc times y squared. b cubed, b is 2, so it's 2 cubed times c which is 5 times y which is 1 over a plus b. a is 3 and b is 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. We see 5 at the bottom, we see 5 on the top, knock them out and it's just 2 cubed which is 8. And finally here, finally here we notice that it's a very complicated expression but it has a z in it. It has a z in it, which is a zero. And we know that zero, zero times any number, zero times any number, of course equals zero. I don't know why I'm doing it such a baby way. That's it. The answer is zero. It doesn't matter what the rest is. It doesn't matter what the rest of the quantity is, regardless of what the rest of the quantity turns out to be, which we're not going to spend our time figuring it out. Times zero is going to be zero. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.